Ladies and gentlemen, introduce it. Vibes with Fumi Fumi. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your host for Vibes with Fumbi Fumbi. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Of course, my name is Fumbi Fumbi and I'm your host for Vibes with Fumbi Fumbi. This outfit, I love it so much thanks to Punto Fitness for giving me this outfit. Now I can cover my stomach once in a while. I don't like the stomach is too big, but I don't know why my stomach has been growing bigger. I'm trying to eat the gym, but the food, Nigerian food, Eba and Fufu will not let me shine. But of course, Punto Fitness got me. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, today's episode, you are going to have fun. I promise you. God bless you. Vibes with Fumi Fumi. All right, ladies and gentlemen, moving on. Of course, you know today's edition is special to me because this guy that we have is my friend, is my guy. Before I met this guy, I was a big fan of his. And we met and I introduced myself. But today we are guys. I'm no longer a fan. I'm now a friend. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Chingo Aku! Hey. 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 I'm good. How are you? Bro? I'm great. Uh, I'm still your fan, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, we are friends now. We are friends, yeah. We are friends. Yeah, friends. Nice, 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 nice. How are you? I'm good. I'm just looking out to when we we'll go and have lunch or dinner again. It's fine, yeah. Like that. <laughs> Oh, no, way, <laughs> no, no, no. So you got that. We had, yeah. we had dinner. It was interesting. Yeah, it was cool. It was, it was cool. We were able to talk about a lot of things. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. But you look good. I must Thanks, say. man. You, you look good too. You look good too. You look <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, okay, so, Chico, for you. <clears throat> First off, thank you for coming on Vibes with Fumbi. I appreciate you. Vibes yeah. with Fumbi, Fumbi. Yeah. So for you, why the name Chico Echo first? Wow, that's a long story. Boss. Okay, so Chico, I used to speak uh, fake Chinese. I wanted fake, like, fake Chinese. It's not real. Okay. I, I would not like. To Are you denying it. them now because the I'm not denying COVID not. came from there? No, oh. I would like. I don't like impersonation. So because when I started my journey okay. as a rapper, I wanted something that was going to distinguish me from other every rappers. other rapper in the billet world. So that's why I infused Chinese into my kind of rap, and Ekun was my stage name. Okay. You understand? So I didn't want to lose both names. So I just merged the two together at Chinko Echo and that's how we have it. Today, the brand Chinko Makes sense, makes sense. And it's, and it's working for you. Yes. Nice one. So for you, now, before I go to how music started for you. Okay. Now you said something, you wanted to actually distinguish yourself from other rappers. Yeah. Now, I noticed something when you started. You know, I told you like, I'm yeah. a very big fan yeah. of you. You used to rap in Chinese, fake Chinese. Yeah. But you no longer do that again. You see like, you have probably evolved or something like why why don't we find that particular chant or that particular style in your song recently yeah i still do that but i i infused it into my intro there's no new song that you hear from me today and you know you hear the chinese chant in the intro okay. you get me so i just wanted it to be i know i was just trying out new things but let me put in the lyrics every time let me always put it in my intro so there's no new release you hear from me now that you know you hear me Speak Chinese in the intro. Because I remember, I remember Ali Joro. It was, yeah, it was yeah. mad. You, you know that every... point, I was looking for something to distinguish me. So I was about to get into the market for the first place. Okay. Again, okay, now I have my fan base, although I'm still looking for money. Get of me. course, of so course. So these people are well, fan base is large. Yeah, it's large, it's large. And they are very loyal. So these people know when you hear Chinese from a rapper or Yoruba rapper, you know, that's, it's that's true. So now I've gotten what I wanted. So, I now infuse it into my intro. So, instead of you waiting to hear it in the verse, you hear it from the beginning of the song. So, so you're going to say, this this cool. Makes sense. Makes yeah. sense. Okay, so for you, how music did start? How did music start for you? Well, music, I, I never thought I was going to do music. What were you going to do? I was, I was going to be a renowned businessman. What kind of business? Ah, a lot of businesses. Like? E like e E-commerce, agriculture. You'll be a farmer? Yeah. Shoemaker. <laughs> when I mean shoe, nice shoes, nice shoes. Uh, right. When I mean shoe, nice shoes, I tell me what you find. No, I know there are a lot of businesses that you know I, I would have done, but trust me, I just found myself doing the music of the thing because I, all my life growing up, was centered around music. My parents are lovers of music, so that reminds up, me. Sorry, mm -hmm. I saw your dad. Yeah. Your recent release, yeah. Jafafa. Yeah. I saw your dad vibing to that song. Yeah. Was your dad an artist before? No, my dad is not an artist, but my dad plays the talking drum. Then I play the drum set. Is he a sugar daddy? Ah, I wouldn't know. <laughs> until I check because it. Because if you say, he wasn't, I, wasn't looking young. Until I, until I, I checked, old, right? he was I, looking young. I, I, I wouldn't know until I check his DM. 
<laughs> so that is on Instagram. Yes. What is how do? He's always commenting on my page. <laughs> I will tell. I will tell you what is going. <laughs> so they will not go. Brother, they are born by that. He's always commenting. There's no. There's no post I. I make on Instagram that he doesn't. So they will be like, if Chico can not marry us, we'll be his mother. We'll be his mother. I know. I know everyone. While I so like growing up, my dad helped my music life because he was always listening to music. It was when I asked him for anything that has to do with music, he gives it to me. But asking him, daddy, I want to buy quality radio. He was always happy to buy it. He was buying me headphones. Everything about music, so music became part of me. You get so me. I was just doing my thing, low key. I, I used to chant then in church, you know, with all these appraisals for God, like praising God and everything. So I just wanted that. Oriki, you remember like, yeah, Oriki? Yeah, yeah. So I found that I could. Can you remember any of them? I, there's a lot I can oh, remember on the, the traditional parts. Okay, can you give us any of them? You're a child of the world now. Talele Bruno Wojo Ekumi Lai Shawu. I want your rap now. Shawu go up a bata paje Wojo. Shawu. Eh, Shawu. Traditional. No, I'm just saying. Okay. The traditional part. Okay. Before you give your life to cry. Yeah. No, like I'm a Yoruba boy, so I should know the fact that okay, I'm deeply into the Yoruba game. Nice, nice. And nice. also a child of God. Okay. So for you, Chinko, when music started, mm. do you ever think you will come this far? When I started, I never knew that I could come this far. But God came through for me. Thank you, Ja. So, so, so what was I, the defining factor? Uh, I would not know, but I, I just believe eh. When I started this music, I, I felt, let me just be doing it on the side. Like I didn't I just found out that my talent was too wild. Like in school then because I, I was already big. I was like biggest in my school. Mm. What's for Oba Family University? Is it uh, true that you guys you, you take like eight years for four years course? I like say all things when you call like say Twenty years. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. Uh, we don't carry over. My high, my high school for that school. So like, I, I was my time was too wild because, trust me, when I even started, I didn't have a, I didn't have a, I didn't have a single. I was performing in the old school. I was the biggest in the school and without a single. So, yes. Yeah, so what was that? I was always freestyling. I was the only one doing something different. Everybody comes, they mind their song. I come, they play me the beat, and I'm there. You understand me? So, it was too wild. And my parents saw it and they were like, bro, we will give you the full support, but <laughs> no earrings, no tattoos. <laughs> my dad was just like, he doesn't judge, oh, but he just feels he doesn't even want it yet because his set of friends and his guys, they believe in the corporate world, you understand me? But me, they just they had to let me street. do it. So like, I just had to do that music for myself. And that's how we have it to do. Okay, so now for you, Everybody knows like your journey in this industry started with Olamide Bado. Yeah. That's Olamide DDG. For you, how did this connection happen? And when it happened, how did you feel? Well, I I was dumbfounded. Trust me. I can remember how we started. It was during the ASU strike. Um, we were not in school. We were at home and I was at my I was at my house then, my parents' house. I was sleeping and my mom was like all I'm doing with the family just the shop, meaning all I'm doing, please. Can you just go to the shop? I grown boot at first, no man. Oh, Lima, I'm a big boy now. I mean, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm a big, big boy for school. school. I'll now sit down in the shop. I shall go, I shall went. Then I took my Galaxy Tab then, because I had a Galaxy Tab then. Then I was on my Instagram. So I did a freestyle like almost like a month ago. That was with I and Check and Pop Easy. Check. Um, zoom, 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 uh, zoom, yeah, zoom, it was zoom. Kyle B then. Kyle so B. it was hi, Kyle B and one of my friends, Pop Easy. So then I was just like, I didn't know what to do in the shop. Like, what thing I did do? Not to just sell and it was not my thing. So I was just busy on my tab. Then I tagged Olam on one of my sisters and he saw it and I, he followed. I was almost going crazy, you know. Just and, like that. And trust me, I, when I met him, I found out that, okay, he had been hearing of people like us from the underground. And I felt so great. I think mean, I had goosebumps seeing Olamide for the first time. Wow. I was like, God. My body was shaking, but I did try to maintain. I think mean, me where I don't big for my school bros. If you see celeb, you go feel level. True, true. You true, get true. like celebs come to my school and I perform. But seeing Olamide was God. It was heavy for you. Now, so when Olamide signed you. When you guys started this whole music stuff for you, did you ever think like 
most rappers will probably have a beef for you. We're still coming, we're still coming to rap game in Nigeria, okay. but do you feel like most rappers will have beef for you, considering the fact that, okay, you don't know Alamide, Alamide good and all. Did you ever think that? No, I, I, me personally, I'm, I'm, I'm in love me. I, I don't even see, I don't, nothing freaks me and I don't see myself as one bigger thing now. I don't think anybody should do that to me. But if you diss me, you go feel like... You go collect. You see, if you, if, you, if you come for me, you go feel I'm in 30 minutes. Okay, so there was this time that Maven Records had um, an, an issue with um, YBNL. That they were talking about rappers. And yeah. you, were you ready for that battle if I thought that battle was going to happen? Well, maybe they have rappers there. YBNL had there was a lot prince. of... No, like rappers, when you said, okay, was the only one rapping yeah. there. So we, we had Cash... Me, if me catch a lamb, they do this song. <laughs> it's a good top. I want to go feel him. I want to go feel him. But that time, I was ready for anything. My head is shook. Ah, say anyone. Bros, anybody. You go collect. Ah, nice. But nice, nice. you know, ah, it is what it is. Okay, so for you, lastly, how do you make your music? Do you go to the studio? You hear an instrumental and you jump on it based on your freestyle artist, or? You just sleep and in your dream you hear Jafafa, 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 go to the studio and record Jafafa or Abu God, hey me, tell them I'm Abu God. How, how, how do you do it? How I do my music? I, I just put my mouth in the mic and I cut. You put your mouth in the mic? <laughs> like, don't the mind ben, me. Ben, most, of my, most of my songs come out from vibe. You know, I just have a storyline on my head. I might not even know what the chorus is. I just have a storyline on my head. I call the police out. I share with him, this is what I want to sing about. Now, give me a beat that correlates with this kind of concept and then we, we juggle it out. Nice. I am the type of artist that likes to record live. Like, I don't like it when producers send me instrumentals. It doesn't, I don't, I don't get it. So I like to listen to, this, to the, the beats on the big speakers. Nice, nice one. Okay, so finally, before you go now, I'm going to give you the we lyrics finally to your, you. Finally, 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 finally. I'm going to give you the lyrics to your song. It's okay. a game that we play here on Vibes with Fumi. Okay. So I'll give you lyrics to two of your songs okay. and you tell us which one. Okay. So the first one is, I need to do Wakajeje like Baba Keke. That's Shell Location. I need to do Wakajeje with some of my like Baba. That's Shell Location. Shell Location, nice. By Chinkwe. By Chinkwe. <laughs> so then this one is, I don't also pray, I don't fast. Kamari Shito Wakambas. I think it does even good. Even good, by Chinko. Featuring locations, matter. Nice one, nice one. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, we just had Chinko Ekun for Vibes with Fumbi Fumbi. But don't go anywhere. You will watch him perform his song live and he'll be performing Jafafa by his able self, Chinko Ekun featuring Mobad. Tiger, Virgin Boy. For life. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Vibes with Fumbi Fumbi. Hello, Damala is my name, and I'm so happy to be here today with vibes with Fumbi Fumbi. It's beautiful, you know. I love Nigeria so much, and everywhere I find myself in the world, I'm always proud to project my Nigerian identity. Um, I had the privilege of doing an event some time ago somewhere outside the country, um, Europe precisely. And during the course of my stay in Europe, I decided to go shopping. And I did more of window shopping than shopping, but the most important thing is that shopping was involved. And then I walked into a shop where they sell perfumes. And there was this particular perfume that got my attention. You know, I looked at this perfume, I liked it, I admired it, I appreciated it. And, and uh, you know, I looked at it, I, I picked it up. Lovely perfume. When I asked of the cost, ladies and gentlemen, masculine and matured, when I asked of the cost, the Naira equivalent of that perfume was about uh, 450,000, there about. I looked at it. I admired it. I acknowledged the presence of the perfume, but I did not buy it. Not because I did not want to buy it, but because the cost of the perfume was half the cost of the entire trip. Mm. So I got back to Nigeria. So I was driving and cruising quietly in traffic. Somewhere not too far from Ozumba, for those that live in Lagos. In traffic, ladies and gentlemen, the same bottle I saw in France, I saw it in traffic. I gave my friend a lift that day. I said, my guy, I saw this perfume in France, it is 450k, he said it's a lie, that let us ask. I did, bro, how far? The guy said I did. I said, how much is this perfume? The guy said, my guy, now two five. But because of you, I go give you one two. I discouraged my friend, but he bought it, he bought two. He even collected change. As I speak with you, the guy is not feeling fine. Because mm. the unique thing about the perfume is that to the sprayer of the perfume, to him, 
that spray the perfume to the sprayer of the perfume is smelling nice. But to the sprayee, that is those of us that the matter did not concern, there is a thin line between insecticide and air freshener. Five hours into the use of the perfume, the guy started smelling for ventilated spirit. People were telling him to get worse when he did not know why. As I speak with you, he's on his way to his hometown. You know, one of the biggest challenges we faced as young people, especially in secondary school, were the subjects that we, that we did in school. And no matter how brilliant you were in secondary school, there must have been at least one subject that you did not really like. A lot of us did not like French because it's a foreign language. Some did not like Yoruba because of all those have really give it. Yeah, and all those things. But a lot of us did not like mathematics, not because we don't want to like mathematics, but because our math teachers were very scary. They made us dislike maths. My math teacher can enter the class and ask me a question he himself does not know. He can say 1,007 times 94. Sir, were you keeping my list with me before? Just beat me if you want to beat me. Which type of question is that one? And you know, when they give you homework, you can take it home. Your uncle will solve it for you. But when they give you classwork, you wound yourself there. Five unfamiliar questions. What they give you as example is different from what they give you as questions. X into S minus S is equal to S. Find S. Say, Ruwala, Walele, Bainturi, along with that. Who sent me to school? Why didn't I go and learn for Ghana? Do you know? But then, the inside that same class, there's always one guy that knows all the mass with thick glasses that has rope. When you are trying to figure number one out, the guy is in number three. As you are trying to understand the number one question, it will bring out calculator. It will not bring out ordinary calculator. It will bring out scientific calculator. In your mind, you are thinking, what, where did they say we should press all these type of things here now? Before you know it, the guy will bring out four-figure table. Ha! For this same question, where did they ask for four-figure table here now? You are still in number one. It's in number three and a half. Before you know it, it will bring out mass set. It will not now start using normal part of mass set like pencil and eraser. It will start using things like protator. Divider, and you are still in number one. In your mind, you will say, Where did they ask us to bring out mass sets in this question? Before you know it, the guy will bring out graph book. Ha! He, and you are still in number one. <laughs> then people will not be looking. Somebody will look at you and say, Baba, for you say, ah, No, 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 we are doing well. You know in your mind that you are not doing well. Mm. When they now finish everything, now say, Pens up, submit. You know the answer of everything that you got. Everything you know, you know your result. They will not say you should exchange your book and exchange with somebody beside you. Ladies and gentlemen, when they now finish marking, the teacher will not say, everybody, stand up. Five, five, sit down. Four over five, sit down. Three over five, come out for 12 strokes of the cane. You that you got half, just leave the school because it is either suicide or something, something like that. You know. I was telling some people some time ago that um, games are unique, you know, and the, this, the, the society, you know, the, the kind of game that you play or the kind of games that appeal to you determines the strata of the society you belong to. For example, there are certain games that are designed strictly for the rich. If you are rich, you are wealthy. There are certain games for you. E.g., golf. Rich men play golf. You cannot see a poor man playing golf. What does he know they are using the stick for? Maybe to kill rat. When they play golf, they play it like gentlemen. How are you? How much is the contract? 500 billion. Don't worry, I'll do the transfer tomorrow. That is how they talk. They don't shout. They have uniform. Nice shirt. Polo shirt. You're talking like capsule. Wear nice trainers. Face cap. And they have utensils for playing golf. Another rich man's game is badminton. You don't make noise. You have uniform. You wear shorts, nice shirt, socks, trainers, or sneakers. You may not wear a face cap. Just play it quietly. Another rich man's game is chess. They are very deliberate about their games. What does chess do for you? Strategic thinking. Helps you in planning. You can be in front of a chessboard for two hours. All you are just doing is strategy. But you see poor man's game. You don't need shirt. Not to talk of uniform. All you just need is a tree and a bench. 50 people around you, I'm talking about draft. They will not start involving the mother of the people that are playing as if they are involved. Professor, no, yeah. What concerns the mother of the person with the draft you are playing? Another rich man's game. Or well, another game that both the rich and poor play, but the way they play it is different. Is Ludo. 
Have you seen the way rich men play Ludo? When you want to roll dice, you roll it twice. Cre, cre. You pour it, you see six, five. Have you seen the way poor men roll dice? You will like, yeah. Cre, 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 cre. You will like, yeah. Cre, cre, cre. Timbati Dakini is in. Why did you my surprise? Yeah. Cre, 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 cre. By the guy, the type point, you see one, one. Ladies and gentlemen, Damola is my name. I had a beautiful time. It's vibes with Fumbi Fumbi. God bless you and have a beautiful day. Thank you. <laughs> vibes with Fumbi Fumbi. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Vibes with Fumbi Fumbi. And right now, we're in the gym of 0200. Performing right now is the Freestyle King. When he drops the bass, he drops the rhymes. Give it up for no other than Cinco Echo. It's all talking about. Don't I got a bad hit right now. Show. Don't <laughs> Shut down, shield. Are you ready? For our show. Are you ready right there? <laughs> yes!
That's what we're talking about. Oh, really? It's nice. Thank you. So, first off, on behalf of Vibes, yeah, this is nice for me. Okay. I love you so much, you quick. I love you too, bro. You get what I'm saying, bro? Of course, bro. No. <laughs> I, just, I just want to say thank you. This thank is you, so thank you so much. Thank you so much. We appreciate, appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. you. Thank you. Much, thank you. you. God bless you. I, I hope you love it. I love it, man. Nice I love it. Thanks. Nice thanks. Nice a nice one, guys. You guys did great. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope to see you guys more. No. See me more. We hope to have you again. I'm coming. <laughs> if you don't make a hack off for your back. <laughs> no, at least, man, I'm taking off course. This, of course, is nice for me. I would just have to incredible for right now. This is doing God bless you so much. I appreciate you. Introducing Vibes with Fumi Fumi.